Ah, shit. Here we go again. Alright, this does not look like I took it from a tank. Let's find something smaller. Even smaller. Looks good, right? No. When you put knob on this, PCB and the case, this thing is gonna be thick. This is more like it. And the same goes for the push buttons as well. Power switch? Alright, that's pretty cringe. Uh, we're not gonna need that anymore. Micro USB charging might be acceptable in 2018, but it, let's be honest, it's 2020, so let's go for the lightning port. I'm just kidding, <laughs> of course. Uh, it's USB Type-C. Get your shit together, Apple. These wires aren't my finest work, so let's replace them with a PCB. Alright, looking good. Just a small mistake here. Another tiny mistake. Okay, I find a few more mistakes, but it's not a big deal. It looks like I also completely forgot to route all of the power connections for the receiver, but I fixed it and, you know, it should be fine. Okay, uh, this is an absolute shit show. I was working on it for a while now and it drains too much power, the battery isn't gonna last more than 3 days, the range is absolutely terrible and the software also turns out to be a lot more complicated than I anticipated. The point I'm trying to make is that this was supposed to be a simple project, take this big, chunky and disgusting remote and scale it down, but then I started adding all of these cool and quirky features, you know, like USB Type-C, wireless reprogramming, super slim design, backlit knob, and the list keeps going on and on, and my brain comes up with all of these features, which, let's be honest, they are just problems, and then has no motivation to solve them. It's all done! You remember that endless list of features? Yeah, that's all done. All of them are implementing and no compromises were made. Well, you know, except uh, I spent way more time on it. I could have done like 10 projects instead, but you know, it's uh, just a small compromise. It's still just a wireless keyboard, but just look at it. A 3D printed body and it looks... Well, it looks like a remote, but I'd argue that's a step up. 12 month battery life and it's also rechargeable with USB Type-C because, well, no compromises as I said, it can also be programmed wirelessly and while the dongle is a little bit on the chunkier side, it works. The remote also has the option for multiple layouts, so if you wanna watch YouTube, just switch it to red and boom, it's working. Wanna listen to music in the background? Bam, easy. Wanna watch pirated movies on a sketchy website? Well, you're gonna burn in hell, son of a but Gyro, I hear you ask, what if I want to create my own layout for like this completely illegal movies pirating website? Will I have to do any of that nerd shit like programming or something? Stop with that stupid website! <clears throat> but, but no, you don't have to do any of that stupid nerd shit because I already did that and I made this Windows app to do it all for you. You can create new layout, give it a color, map all the buttons, even save and load the configuration. You know, if you ever want to share it with your... Um, uh, wow, this was such a waste of time. But to all three of you that are actually going to build this, you're welcome! And uh, also expect invitation into my private Discord server where we can share these layouts. Check out this one I made for League of Legends. Why are we still here? Alright, so the remote is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Let's see what other people think about it. Check it out, I finally finished the remote. What do you think? Pretty cool, I guess. So yeah, there you have it. It's pretty cool, I guess. Anyway, I guess now it's time to go back to watching my favorite show. Definitely gonna skip that one. Wait. What? No way. Be serious. All right, let's just skip a little bit. Am I watching the wrong show? All right, I've seen enough. Wait, 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 no, 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 no